This video brought to you by Gamefly. Go to GameflyOffer.com slash HaloCanon for a 30-day free trial. Stick around to the end for more details. Welcome back, Canaanites. Today I have a rather interesting theory concerning the Line of Arbiters, specifically in relation to something called the Line of Immaculate Succession. What is that, you may ask? Well, let's see if we can't find out. The term's first and to date only appearance was in Halo Wars Genesis, which referred to Rip Amorami as the 17th Arbiter in the Line of Immaculate Succession. No context was ever given, no clarification provided, just a title with no meaning. Over the years, people have generally ignored the term, focusing mainly on Ripa being the 17th Arbiter. Logically, one could assume that Thel was the 18th, and that there have only been 18 Arbiters in the history of the Covenant. As of late, however, the term has started to bother me, or more accurately, I've started to give it some real thought. What is this line of immaculate succession? How could there have only been 18 Arbiters in the Covenant's almost 3,000 year history? Then, I remembered the Halo Legends episode, The Duel. In it, an Arbiter, Fal Chavami, rejects the Covenant's beliefs, and for his heresy, he is killed. The rank of Arbiter, once the highest religious role a Sangheili could achieve, became a badge of shame. Could this event, could Fal's actions, have some relationship to the line of Immaculate Succession? Well, let's start by examining the meaning of the words. Succession is fairly obvious. The action or process of inheriting a title, or a number of people or things sharing a specific characteristic, and following one after the other. Simple. How about Immaculate? It means clean, spotless, and in regards to theology, which I think this is what Halo Wars Genesis was going for, free of sin. So, Immaculate Succession would be an unbroken line of inheritance free of sin. To me, this would refer to how the title of Arbiter is meant to wash away a shamed Sanghili's sin, how, after sacrificing themselves in the line of service, an Arbiter would ensure their place on the Great Journey. So, let's swing back to Fal. Up to him, the title of Arbiter had held great renown. An Arbiter was once the pinnacle of our people, leader of the clans, and master of the battlefield. But after Fal, the position was a mark of shame, a title given to a fallen Sangheili previously of rank, so that they may cleanse themselves of sin or, if you like, become immaculate. This also provides the Prophets with greater control over the Sangheili, allowing them to remove any potential political threats whenever an individual Sangheili grew too powerful. So my theory is this. The line of immaculate succession refers to the line of Arbiters who were appointed after Fal Chavami. A line of Arbiters who, in their own eyes and in the eyes of the Covenant at large, were doing all they could to wash away past sins to become Immaculate. This would explain why there have seemingly been only 18 Arbiters in this line, despite the Covenant existing for almost 3,000 years. Interestingly, this is somewhat supported by the Halo 2 Anniversary Terminals. During their conversation, Spark asked soon-to-be heretic leader Sessa Refumi how long the Prophets had been appointing Arbiters. Sessa answers, saying that it had been since the fall of Fal Chavami. Thus, I think it's pretty conclusive to say that the line of Immaculate Succession refers to the Arbiters appointed after Fal. Although, when I presented this theory to a friend, CIA391, a rather well-known person in the lore community, we had a small debate of sorts about who would be the first in this new line. Would Fal have been the first Arbiter in the line of Immaculate Succession, or would it have been the Arbiter that followed him? Personally, and especially after putting this theory together, I think it would have been the Arbiter after Fal. If the line of Immaculate Succession refers to a line of shamed Sangheili warriors attempting to cleanse themselves of sin, I don't think that would really cover Fal, who died still denying the Great Journey. Plus, I'd like to think that Fal received his own unique title to reflect his heresy. So, what do you all think? Is the line of Immaculate Succession in reference to the Arbiters who were appointed after Fal Chavami, or do you think it means something else? And hell, do you think Fal was the first Arbiter in the line of Immaculate Succession, or do you think that it was the one after him? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this theory, and until next time, this has been Halo Canon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give a like and consider subscribing and sharing this video around. Also consider checking out Gamefly, with over 8,000 new releases and classic games for current and previous gen consoles, and even some older consoles, Gamefly is a great way to try tons of games without buying them. Go to GameflyOffer.com slash to start your 30-day free trial.